Hey, what's going on YouTube? I hope that the uh, tutorial on how to download Plex was informative and helpful. If there's any questions or any problems, please leave a comment or send a message, and we'll be happy to try to take care of that issue for you. Uh, just a couple of pointers on little things about Plex that you should know. For one, you need to have your computer open. It needs to be open and it needs the server needs to be running. So if you have a Mac, make sure that the little X or the little Plex arrow, sorry about that, is available and is running. Make sure that your system is updated. The computer itself has to be open if you have a laptop. If you close the laptop, it will disconnect the server from your Roku device. It is okay for the screen to go dark, but the laptop needs to be open in order for the server to be running. A couple of other things that's really cool is the idea of Plex Pass. It's $4.99. You do get a couple of add-ons. You do have the ability to add users to Plex if you'd like to. And you can also get this DVR live TV function. Lastly, about the live TV function, it is basically a connective device that you need to buy. And if you go to Plex.tv and check it out, you'll find that device. There's a lot of different options. And it connects through an antenna that you will also have to purchase in order to receive your local channels. As long as the connection is clear, that device can act as a DVR system for you and then have your pre-recorded stuff and you can watch it on Plex. Well, I hope that I was able to help out and help you understand a little bit more about Plex and what its features and functions are. As always, please don't forget to subscribe and hopefully I've been able to help you maximize your Roku and its capabilities. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Happy streaming. Take care, YouTube.